Well, hey there. Welcome to uh, another adventure here with Gator. Um, we're here at a place called High Rocks Overlook today in Upper Bucks County. We're going to be exploring the Overlook. We're going to be trying to find a legendary cave called Doan's Cave. And we're going to try to get some uh, down by the creek and check it out. We had some snowfall yesterday, so some of, it, some of it's melted away and some of it's still here. But um, let's go for another adventure. We're going to try to find this Doan's Cave. And I'll tell you a little bit more about the history and the significance of this cave when we get a little closer to it, if we can find it. You can see um, all these trees are knocked down and they're all knocked down in the same direction. Um, so some kind of fierce straight line wind or something came through this area. But uh, that's interesting. All right. Let's continue on. Okay, so you come down this road and um, it dead ends here. There's a couple houses back here. And then we're going to be crossing this bridge that's closed to traffic, um, but it's open for foot traffic. And that'll be coming up ahead. I've heard this bridge mockingly referred to as the fake covered bridge because when you look at it from uh, below, from the water level, it actually looks like a covered bridge, but it's really not. Supposedly somewhere downstream, looking down that way, is where this legendary cave is, and I'm gonna see if I can find it. All right. Now, the short story history about this cave, it's called Doan's Cave, is that there was a gang of highwaymen in the Revolutionary War period, and basically they were bandits. They were stick-up guys, and they were uh, located in this area, and, you know, to avoid authorities and to hide their loot, they had these uh, little hideaways here and there where they would, where they would hide from the, the authorities and they, where they would hide their gold and their silver. Well, let's follow the deer tracks. Maybe they know where the, maybe they know where the cave is. Still heading down the path here. Um, still looking for this legendary cave. Hoping to find some treasure in it too. I seen this rock formation up here, so I thought this might have been it, but I don't think it is. It's just a false opening. Let's take a look at it anyway, though. I'm going to take a break here for a moment, have some water. This would give you some, some shelter from the elements if you got back in here. It actually does go back in a little bit further than I thought. You could probably sleep in there if you had to, if, if you were caught in like a bad storm or something. But uh, I don't think this is exactly what we're looking for, but I think we're on the right path. Now, I'm gonna show you a little, a little bit deeper into here what it looks like. And uh, it's actually pretty warm in there. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, animals den up in there, but let's take a look. It's 
So you can see it goes all the way back in there. You could definitely get in there and be pretty comfortable. You could probably sleep right in there, have a little fire out here, and uh, I think you'd be pretty comfortable. As you emerge out from this rock crevice, this is what it looks like. And on what is turning out to be a beautiful Sunday in January, All right, so we're definitely coming to some very interesting rock formations just above the water here. I remember reading a, uh, something about a, a memorial about a young man who passed away, I believe of a, unfortunately of a drug overdose and he was found right in this spot. This is a really beautiful spot and clearly a shrine has been made in his honor. I want to be very respectful of that and may he rest in peace. really just an incredibly beautiful spot and um, feels very profound to be here at this moment. Very slippery over here. There's ice below the snow. Um, and it's back to the search for Doan's Cave. One interesting thing about the Doan's, I should note, part of their notoriety, their infamy, is that they were considered to be Tories. Tories are individuals during the Revolutionary War who were loyal to, to the king, to England, and actively worked to subvert the uh, revolution and the colonials. All right, I'm gonna retrace my steps a little bit because um, I went down the trail a little further and I think I might have missed it. There's a, there's something over here. Uh, wait a second. We got something here. This could be it. The legendary Doan's Cave from the legendary bandits, the Doan Gang. This is it, we found it guys. Now let's go in, check it out. to remember 200 years ago there were still probably wolves and mountain lions in this area it was settled but it was heavily forested so a cave like this on the bank of a creek would um, it would be very well hidden
looking in the cave here again. Um, I don't see any artifacts or anything really un unusual. Um, it's definitely warm in here. Definitely could fit a couple people in here, especially again if you had a a fire at the entrance. Um, pretty cool. Interesting. Good find here, guys. Good find. Here's what it looks like from inside the cave out towards the entrance and you know I'm just kind of laying down here right now actually and uh, it's pretty peaceful I could take a nap I could sleep in here Little rough, little rough on the knees. <laughs> but other than that, a very rewarding experience. I just hit my head. <sighs> and back into the light. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but the Tohicken Creek is considered a, a water a waterway of very high quality, especially for this part of the state. Um, there's a decent amount of uh, diversity in terms of species, and um, the water is very clean. And uh, I'm just going to stop and take a little break here at this nice little spot. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna head back to the uh, main park area right now, the picnic area, back towards the uh, bridge. It's been a good adventure so far, and stay tuned for more. Gator out. <laughs>